Hello everyone and welcome back to another Stormworks update video. Now in this video we'll be covering the update as of today which is 0.6.18. As always we'll go over the new features and changes that have been made and finally we'll test a few of them out here in the world of Stormworks. Now if you're enjoying this videos comment below and if you'd also like to see any of my future videos why there don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and make a little bell icon to be notified in my upcoming content as soon as it gets posted. Finally, my apologies on my voice, I have been a little bit unwell, so with that all said, let's go ahead and get started with the update video. So to start this week's update, the first feature that devs have gone ahead added is going to be the Occupy node that's going to be on off signal, and this is going to be added onto all the different chairs and seats that we have in game, along with that also the beds. So you can see here that both the pilot seat and the pilot seat hot sauce has now got an on off node added to it for occupied, and moving on, you'll also see that on any of the medical beds, normal beds, and also the passenger seats. Along with that is you can now see we have the occupied signal. That means if you place anyone in there or if you sit in there yourself, this will send an on off signal. This is going to be quite useful, obviously, as we saw in the actual GIF that the devs made. Um, they made like a little drowning thing where if someone sat in the seat and went and drowned the people. It was pretty cool. Uh, I can see this obviously being useful for quite a lot of different things. So for example, in a car, if you were sitting in the seat, maybe automatically would turn the electrics on or turn the engine on. Pretty cool little thing, a uh, little feature. I can see it obviously being quite useful. Now, moving on to the second feature the devs have added this week is going to be the sensor of players. So you see here, if you come into your sensor area just over here, you can now see we have a player sensor now this itself has two different outputs one is going to be the number of players that it detects within a certain area and the second one is going to be an on off if it detects anyone in that area now placing it down uh, I have a little example here in the background which I'll go over just down a couple minutes but you can see placing it down um, it does have a different type now you can either do hemisphere or sphere itself along with that is your meter how far do you actually want to protect people from it now usually um, if it's quite close you probably go for about a meter and a half uh, moving out you can obviously go all the way up to 10 meters which is pretty cool um, that's obviously times it by four blocks in game so you're doing about 40 blocks length which is quite a lot actually to be honest um, so it can be quite useful for a lot of different things along with that is you can also do a mode um, detect all you could also detect players only or you could detect NPCs only now I can obviously imagine the community is going to get extremely creative with this and it'll be interesting to see what people come up with in this now Along with that, uh, you can see obviously it does have a detected, a player detected there also. Now, for the example that I have done in front of us, I've just gone ahead and put a whole bunch of doors down uh, and a whole bunch of lights. As you can see here, what I've done is I've hit electricity to all of it. Along with that is I've just taken the player sensor, connected it to a light switch and connected it to a door and then set the actual meterage here to about 1.75 meters. So if it detects a player within that, it's gonna open the door and turn the light on and so on and so forth. So you can see spawning this in now, just spawning in here in the doors. You can see all of them are closed. I'll go and confirm they all are closed. And you can see as we move closer to it and come into the sphere here, it opens, it opens, it turns the lights on and so on and so forth. And now we'll actually work for the other direction because obviously we're still, we're still working on a hemisphere here. So once again, if we come in contact anywhere near 1.75 meters of this, it's then going to open up here. And you can see they've gone ahead and closed. So once again, a very useful piece. Uh, I can see it being used for multitude of different things uh, moving forward, which is quite nice. And moving on to the last feature of this update, the devs have now added a crude oil crane or refilling station here at the actual dock area um, on the new Arctic Island. Now, obviously, this is quite useful. Obviously, otherwise, we would have had to travel all the way down to the obviously the old places. So it's nice to see they've gone ahead and added in. It's pretty much exactly the same as any of the other ones. Uh, you have your normal controls. Obviously, we have the oil buttons here on the sides and so on and so forth. Nice relocation, obviously, here at the oil refinery itself uh, and is quite useful for us moving forward. So that's all for this week's update. If you want to see a full list of changes and fixes, make sure to go check out the announcement in the official Stormworks Discord server. And thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and found it entertaining and informative as always. And we'll see you in the next one.